what? That's kind of low. What could be better? Well, your foundation doesn't match your neck. Uh, you got fake tits, and your eyes are kind of spread far apart. Which is to say, if I took your brain and placed your brain into a man's body, you would be impoverished. What if, why don't you ever talk about the men that don't pay child support? Because it's women like you who spread your legs with guys like that. That's your lady! Hey, how you doing? I look nervous, got you a little bit. That's a lot of hair weave, baby, you know. I'm just joking. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, there's a bull horse in Central Park. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the no. show. What do you do for work? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, comedy. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm an architect, so I sit at a desk. Oh, know? hell yeah. You know something or two about brick houses, huh? <laughs> <laughs> She's shaped like one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. There's her chimney right there. Oh, uh, <laughs> wow. I think I'm... Yeah, you design okay. sandwiches? <laughs> what were you going to say? You think you're what? No, what were no, you going to no, say no. there? Say it. I'm an okay person. I'm a good person. An I'm okay like, person? Yeah, I'm a, little, I'm a little plump, but I'm a good person. I'm, I'm sure you have a right. very big heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. I'm a roses marshmallow like he had a campfire. You are one marshmallow I would never taste. You only wear that mask to cover your ugly face. You want to diss marshmallow, but the kid won't sign you. You're like a marshmallow because you're soft, white, and everyone puts their yeah. stick inside you. No big for the work really, really hard for their dreams, but it's not meant for everybody. That's why you use auto-tune and I don't. Actually... I got a, I got a comment for the girl, Stacy, the turquoise shirt. You said, um, you're young, right? You're 24, and all you like to do is go out and party? Well, it looks like <laughs> your fat ass does is eat. Oh! Sit your ugly ass down! As much money you got, you ain't got no big old girlfriend like this, yo. Man, look how big her back is. Uh, just, oh, man, stop that, man. Listen, this is some artificial intelligence no. shit. Oh, she's uh, real. Well, y'all don't finish. She's real, bro. She's stand up. Tell her stand up. You want me to stand up? No, tell her to stand up. I'm tired. I'm not standing up. She's not going to stand up. She can just yeah, wave. We're not fucking. Can you wave, Allie? Wave. Yo, what's up, baby? I was wondering if I can get Still, some direction. Go away from me. Not so too short. Too short? Leave. I'm like one of the best gamers in the world. Why do boys play games? That's disgusting. Same reason why you put on makeup every day to escape reality. A lot of things will be hard for you to comprehend. That's why you're in sex work because you can't offer value in the marketplace. What the fuck? Don't worry, I'm not really talking to you. I'm speaking against you as a symbol. A symbol of what? A symbol of a declining society where people gotcha. lack values. Mm -hmm. So, the point is this. If you had IQ and skills mm -hmm. to offer to the marketplace, gotcha. you can earn a good income. Being that the most valuable thing about you is mm -hmm. something that you never earned. You didn't earn knowledge, you didn't earn skills. It's your breast that you paid for and your butthole. So you market that to earn money. Which is to say, if I took your brain and placed your brain into a man's body, you would be in poverty. I'm just good for nothing. Yep, you can't No, you are good for something. That's why you have OnlyFans. And that's my point, is that that's what you're good for. A lot of and a lot of women don't understand that when you start taking your clothes off for money and start doing provocative things for money, you're cheating. It's not a real job. It's you taking advantage of the situation, which is normally desperate, greasy type of dudes that's suffering from a mental condition. Not to say that it's truly bad because that sometimes it can be profitable, but where women make the mistake is you try to pass it off as a legitimate job. It's not a legitimate job. It's it's a cheat code. It's in the same category as a scammer, as a burglar, as a thief, as a drug dealer. You know, you can make the money doing it, but is it eat? But is it really respectable? No. Never forget when this female host tried to roast Cat Williams and instantly regretted it. And hey, help me get to the salon. Your hair is kind of 
<laughs> my hair is 19 inches long and I have no perm. You, that's not a perm. No, it is not. Nice lady. That's come, natural. Come run, come run one of your gnarled what, fingers. What's here? What's here? <laughs> While you on air. What, what, so on. they can hear you laugh. Come on. Can stay over there. Don't worry. Ain't nobody putting their hands through yours. That's right. They don't have to. Get on out of here. You okay? <laughs> Only one of our hands right. moving while we talk. <laughs> Headphones come together. And take off the old ass clothes you got on. Yeah, they're old. Versace, yeah. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. I want to apologize to the people at Versace Collection. <laughs> If you can't get your blood pressure down, you can't call me that. Uh, whatever, little mama. I'm little mama's baby daddy. No, you little mama. Uh, yes, ma'am. You probably shouldn't talk about sizes. No, that's okay. You big on the radio. That's okay. And you're big Turn in it prison. down. I've never been to prison. 19 uh, felonies, times. no convictions. Yeah, Knock yeah. it off. Prison okay. and jail aren't the same. Okay. No, no. Okay, no, no, okay. no. Calm, calm no, no, no. No, no, no. Only one calm, of us has $12 calm, calm worth of jewelry on. Oh, no, no, no. No, no $12. No, 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 no. Never. Rate me on a scale from 1 to 10, but first, take a good look. I'm gonna say hard four. What? That's kind of low. What could be better? Well, your foundation. Me on a scale from one to ten, but first, take a good look. I'm gonna say hard four. What? That's kind of low. What could be better? Well, your foundation doesn't match your neck. Uh, you got fake tits, and your eyes are kind of spread far apart. How do you know they're fake? Uh, just by the whole overall body size. That does not match up. That was kind of rude. Must be hell. All these women wear the same outfit. <laughs> Look at this. This is awesome. We got Justin Bieber here. I love how your shoes matched your dress. I love how your hair matched your trauma. Boom. Fun roast. Okay, now we're all, we're all friends here. And that's a sign for men. Whenever you see women changing their hair, it's a sign that they have went through trauma. In the wild, species who expose bright, bright colors are warning their enemies to how poisonous they are. It's the same thing with human beings. The brighter the hair, the more they change the hair, the more traumatized they are. Let me, let me hold on, what'd you say to me, bitch? Did you say comedian? Turn these lights off right now, I swear to God. Well, it's a comedian and red flag. You don't like funny guys? I want to be the funniest one. You want to be the funniest one? You losing already. This is not a good start. I don't have a stage. What's that? I don't have a stage. You don't have a stage? I feel like you dance on one. <laughs> Bro, I'd be pissed if my stripper was like, knock, nah, knock. Nah. Just goes, <laughs> who's there? C-section. <laughs> yeah. You want some? No, thanks. You're just going to eat an onion like an apple. This is what she does, people. She eats veggies like, like apples. What do you think about the work your mom does? What does she do? What, why don't you ever talk about the men that don't pay child support? Because it's women like you who spread your legs with guys like that. No, I, why, why don't you ever talk about the responsibility of women no, who no, choose no, no, irresponsible no, no. males to, to no, procreate no, 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 with and then no, complain no, no, later no, when they're no, irresponsible? No, no, no. The women who have a one-nighter with a bartender or a guy on a motorcycle or a musician, and then you complain later on the guy's a deadbeat. He was a deadbeat to begin with. why nobody can ever talk to you because you don't let anybody... People talk to me all day long. You can't talk. Talk to me. No, I'm trying to talk to you, and you're talking over. I, dear, don't tell me how to do a radio show. I've been doing this for 25 years. I don't need your help. Oh, okay, let me. Let me. Can I please just say this? I was married once before. Okay. Mm -hmm. My husband and I had a child together. Right. After I was tired of him beating me for two years, I left him. Really? But why did you tolerate it for two years? Can I? Can you tell me why you tolerated being beaten for two years? I'd like to hear about this. My answer to that is because I was young and stupid. Okay, I agree with you. There you go. You were stupid. No doubt about it. And now what are you going to complain that he doesn't pay child support? A guy who beat you for two years? Imagine that. The guy is irresponsible. Right. He beat me for two years, and now that deadbeat doesn't pay. So why is it my There's fault? your big concern. Now we see why you're so upset about this. You chose a manifestly irresponsible, violent individual to procreate with. Then you're amazed that the guy doesn't send you child support. He didn't Who's, me you, 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 you're you're still, you know what, dear? You were young and stupid. Now you're old and stupid. I mean, you're still stupid. Oh, my God. You are, you are still stupid. You expect a guy who beat you for two years now to suddenly become responsible. I cannot even believe You're insane. It is unbelievable. You can't believe what? 
I can't believe that you're still on the radio. I'm on the radio because I'm right, and I'm on the radio because I've got millions of listeners. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've just lost one. Ah, dear, you're not the target demographic. I really don't give a rat's ass. I bet your husband would agree with me. I bet your ex-husband would really agree with me. I just feel like personally, like I would just be thinking about my future kids or what they would think. You know, kids get teased for shit like yeah. this. You don't understand. That's why my kids gonna get to private school and it's gonna. What does private school life. have to do with social media? Is still gonna be there. You sound like a rage. You're getting angry for what reason? I'm not angry. You just taught it. Okay, like, I'm not. Angry. <laughs> I just feel like personally like I would got my vegan Nikes on right now. They look like real animal skin, but they're made out of vegan alternatives and we don't you, need you're to confident be confident they weren't made with very cheap child labor. Why'd you buy? Why were you walking like that? You <laughs> <laughs> was walking funny. I had to pop that. He was walking. Someone wrong his walk? Try to demonstrate his walk real quick. Like a frog. She said you was walking like a frog. I ain't never seen that shot. I thought they hot, but okay. But no. You, you said what? No. No. <laughs> All right, so you slide down, you slide back up. No, nah, matter of fact, you know the motherfuckers on SpongeBob? <laughs> then fish on SpongeBob. <laughs> Girl, I don't know why she's talking like that. You smell like the fish. Oh, oh god damn. Okay. Wow. Overvaluing marriage and kids as a starter pack. Oh, so like marriage and kids, like that's a starter pack to you. That's really, that's just not nice. Joyful marriages and children. We live in a society that wants you single, fat, broke, and childless. And you're adding to that with your $49.99 donation of apathy. Ask these women where they see themselves in five years professionally and personally. For myself, hopefully I will have two biological children, one adopted child, and I'll be raising them, which is just as valuable as if I got a PhD or if I was making six figures. It matters just as much, and for me personally, it matters more. So how dare you like degrade married women who want to reproduce and do a good thing for society? Like you're a problem. And the fertility stats show that you're a problem as well, because 50.1% of women in the UK are childless by age 30. This is unprecedented, and most women want to have kids. So thank you for the 49.99 of coping. Let's talk to somebody who spent Valentine's Day alone. Let's see. Virgo men are the worst. You know what's funny about this? Before I even before I even defend myself, I don't even care. I don't even believe in this shit, but I can't let it slide, okay? Virgo men and Aquarius men. You're Aquarius? Oh, I thought you were annoying. I'm sorry. I thought you were. I'm so sorry. I, I thought. That's my bad. Why do you think Virgo men are the worst, though? You don't fuck with them? Look, I would fuck you. I just I haven't washed my hands since petting a dog. I just, I don't want to do that to you. Yo, my bars are cold. You better seek shelter. How am I battling one of Santa's little helper? Okay, okay. Check it, check it, check it. Santa's little helper, that's a no, no, no. If I'm an elf, then you want to sign us ho, ho, ho. Oh. 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 Oh.